Now, it's no secret that Jennifer Aniston and her parents, John Aniston and Nancy Dow, didn't always get along, and that seems to be especially true in regards to her mother. The former friend star's relationship with Dow has received much media attention over the years, with tabloids frequently opening on what was allegedly happening behind the scenes with Jennifer and her mother. They often spoke about one another in public, so there was plenty to work with. So what exactly happened for her to have these feelings toward her parents? Well, let's take a closer look together. Firstly, she had a very strained relationship with her mother. As the star of the arguably the biggest TV sitcom that began during the 1990s along with being the wife of one of the largest Hollywood stars in the world, Jennifer Aniston became extremely well-known during that time period, and it continues today. Although we took our time getting to know Jen, many of the tragic details of her past remain unspoken about till this day. Like the fortunate events in her life, they have also assisted in her getting to where she is now. Childhood conflict between Jennifer Aniston and her mother had a huge impact on how she perceives life, having kids, and parenting. Now, Aniston's mother, Nancy Dow, was an actress and a model who starred in two separate television series, The Beverly Hillbillies and The Wild Wild West. But then, in 2011 and 2012, she had two strokes, and she subsequently died a few years later at 2016 at the age of 79. Now, it is an understatement to say that Aniston had emotional strain as a result of seeing her parents divorce when she was a young girl. She had a terrible relationship with her mother, which made growing up with her mother extremely challenging for her. Because of her life in front of the cameras, Nancy had unrealistic expectations for her daughter, believing that she should always be perfect and flawless. This obsession with her daughter's appearance has undoubtedly a holdover from the profession Nancy had worked in for most of her life. Nancy's actions went beyond making negative remarks about her daughter's beauty. It also included additional harmful habits that Jennifer had to put up with. She was also really harsh. She would harbor resentments that, at the time, Jen considered so trivial, revealing a trait she most definitely did not inherit. But Jennifer remembers that one instance in her mother-daughter connection that left a permanent impression and changed the way Aniston viewed her mother. Jennifer could not relate to Nancy's rage because she did not have any, and ultimately, it eventually got to be too much for Jennifer. The gap between Aniston and Dow is said to have started in the 1990s and gotten worse after the late actress published a memoir about her daughter and their separation. According to reports, the two didn't communicate for 10 years and only got back in touch after Aniston and Brad Pitt's 2005 divorce. Another troubling event from her past was when her father abandoned her as a little girl. Jennifer attended a friend's birthday celebration when she was just 11 years old. That day, she never anticipated that her father would be permanently gone when she arrived back home, but sadly, that was the hard reality. After a rocky marriage with Jen's mother, Nancy Dow, Days of Our Lives star and actor John Aniston left the family, and it wasn't until 2016 that Jennifer and her father finally made amends. This came after Nancy, her mother, passed away at age 79 after suffering from health issues for years. Now, a source close to the family claimed that long ago, Jen forgave her father for leaving. However, they have experienced ups and downs in their relationship, and John is over Enjoyed that they have made amends. The infrequent Instagram tributes Jen posts to her father show they reconciled before he passed away just this month. Yet another pretty unknown fact about her childhood is that Jennifer was reportedly also passive-aggressive to her parents growing up. Jennifer had a considerable amount of trauma as a result of growing up with Nancy, but she made the decision to take what I grew up with as an example of what I do not want to be. This could very well be the reason why, despite what many may think of her for being unmarried and never having had children, she is so content right now. She has primarily learned to manage her impulse to always ensure that she is in charge. Yes, it's pretty clear now that her mother, Nancy, had a nasty temper, which is why Jennifer had a known reputation for being passive-aggressive for quite a long time. This was simply how she had to be to survive growing up, so it's only natural that it would carry into her adult life. She took the first step towards establishing a new family after her parents' divorce and left her mother's home, a family defined by the people she selected. Her friends grew in importance more so than her family most of the time throughout her life. Also, Jennifer didn't invite her mother to her wedding with Justin Thoreau. Unfortunately, by the time summer 2015 arrived, there were rumors that the family were still not getting along very well. According to online sources, Nancy Dow didn't appear to be present for Jennifer Aniston's wedding to Justin Thoreau, her second husband, or her marriage to Brad Pitt as well, for that matter. Dow reportedly told the publications that she didn't go to the event, appearing to validate the report. Nevertheless, Aniston's mother continued to support the actress and her son-in-law, suggesting no malice in the decision. She answered when questioned about their wedding and explained explained that it was wonderful and she is always supportive of her daughter. At the height of Jen's career, her mother wrote a tell-all book. Have you ever read From Mother and Daughter to Friends? What is it? Well, it's a memoir that was written by Nancy in 2009, at the height of Jen's rom-com popularity. Fans viewed the tell-all book as a cheap money grab, taking advantage of her daughter's enormous popularity. As Nancy seems to place the responsibility for her mother's absence on everyone but herself, some have critiqued the novel as being self-pitying. Jennifer was understandably distraught and felt misled. Nancy's 
parents were completely at odds with the natural parental role of comforting and securing children. Also, Jen was apparently completely left out of her own mother's will. Even though Jennifer Aniston and her mother appeared to patch things up just before Nancy passed away, In Touch broke the story that Nancy Dow had allegedly revised her will around the same time as their reconciliation, leaving her daughter out. Additionally, according to Radar, Jennifer's mother left her nothing, with her goods allegedly going to Dow's granddaughter, Eilish Melek, the daughter of Aniston's half-brother, John Melek, and other undisclosed family members. Despite speculations to the contrary, In Touch reported that both Jennifer and her late mother's husband, John Aniston, attended her funeral to show their devotion. It appears, regrettably, that tensions between the mother and daughter persisted long after Dow's passing. The ashes of Jennifer's mother were reportedly offered to her, but she allegedly declined to take them with her. It needs to be clarified whether this was due to their prior conflict or some other reason entirely. The actress reportedly paid tribute to her father following his passing, but not her mother. Jennifer Aniston said that growing up with her parents wasn't always the best, but she nevertheless gave her parents moving tributes after they passed away. In May 2016, Nancy Dow passed away and Jennifer told People the News. An insider also discussed the actress's difficult connection with her mother while describing how the star was feeling after her mother's loss. After her father, John Aniston, passed away in November 2022, Jennifer posted on Instagram six hours later to express her sorrow. The A-lister published a number of recent and older pictures, but none of them include Dow. When she played a toxic mother in a film, it strangely helped her reconcile with her own past. Life comes full circle in the Netflix film Dumplin', in which Aniston portrays a mother who is very strict with her child. She portrays Rosie, a former beauty queen who has a complex bond with her obese daughter. Her daughter's decision to compete in a local beauty pageant puts their relationship to the test. Jennifer approached the part by drawing heavily on her real-life experience. Her real-life interactions with Nancy helped her better comprehend Rosie in Dumplin'. Jennifer portrays a former pageant queen with a small daughter in the film. Much of the mother-daughter dynamic at the film's heart is similar to Jennifer's. Finally, Jennifer eventually came to terms as to why her mother treated her like this. Jennifer gained perspective over time and understood that her mother had always done her best. Her viewpoint was unavoidable, especially in light of the identical upbringing she shared with her own mother. Jennifer said she did it because that's how she was raised. However, overcoming generational trauma wasn't free. Jennifer had to work through her own problems in order to learn what type of life she wanted to live. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we have for today, so make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. You want to know right. any more information about your right and left hand? Okay, next. I think we know where she's going with that, guys. <laughs> is Jason Bateman Canadian? How dare you? She says, Jimmy, I love you, and I love Jane, and you've uh, always been an incredible husband. Uh, oh. This is, I'm sorry, I just have to, this to show your oh oh you have this, this. okay oh, oh, this all right b bump and a circle around my stomach with an arrow pointing to it in just this sort of disgustingly objectifying kind of way the times that i've i've been invited and to be up here is truly an honor thank you